You know what day it is. It's Sunday reset time, baby. You know how there's that term Sunday fun day? I feel like when they were creating that, they were thinking activities with friends, grabbing coffee, picnic in the park. But my brain goes straight to cleaning my apartment and organizing my whole entire life. Nothing feels better than setting yourself up for the week. I stand by that statement. So today we are going to be doing the ultimate Sunday reset. Laundry needs to be done. Surfaces need to be wiped down. Groceries need to be obtained. So buckle up because we have a a big day ahead of us. Now I am a big fan of putting on loads of laundry while I'm doing other tasks because you can get more stuff done at once. So let's go ahead and tackle this giant basket of laundry. We got this. Oh my god guys. I just realized I put on a load of laundry two days ago because I went for a walk. I wore my brand new white shirt and a bird literally on me and it was right in the middle of my t-shirt. I was like, I don't want this to stain. I'm gonna wash it. I put it in the wash with the other white stuff, put the washing on, completely forgot about it. Completely forgot about it. So there is literally wet clothes in here. Oh my gosh. This is so bad. This is not a representation of who I am. I promise. I, I'm not gonna say I never do this. This doesn't happen. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna rewash this stuff. I do have some other white clothes that I need to wash as well. So I'll just put that on now and it will be like, it never happened. I wonder if the bird who stain came out. It's good luck if a bird on you, right? It came out, she's good as new, but she needs a rewash because she's been sitting in there damp for 48 hours. <laughs> I am one of those people who starts one task and then jumps to another task and then another one and then by the end of the day I've started 10 different things but I haven't finished one. So I've found that what works best for me is just cleaning one room at a time, getting it done and then moving on to the next one. So let's start with the kitchen. I also have my headphones on and I'm going to listen to some music because there is just absolutely no way I'm going to be left alone with my thoughts while cleaning. I don't need to be having an existential crisis or mental breakdown during our Sunday reset. You know what I mean? but something I want to be better at this year is cleaning our toaster. I took out the little trays at the back and cleaned those. You know the ones that get full of crumbs? But our toaster is also full of crumbs inside the bread slot. So I'm just going to tip this into the sink. I don't know if that's what you're meant to do. I'm going to do it. Hope for the best. I'm not sure if I'm making this story up, but I feel like one of my friends had a friend or someone in their university set the fire alarm off by not cleaning out the toaster. Maybe it was in a movie. Anyway, it takes two seconds and I also think we can get a little anger out. If we've got any anger or resentment from the week, we can just shake the absolute shit out of this toaster and let it all go. That was actually so satisfying. Let's move on to the lounge room. To be honest, this is one of my favorite rooms to clean because it doesn't really take a lot of time, but it's the main section of our apartment. You can see it all the time. We're always in it. So it being clean makes such a difference. It's such a win-win. We got these oils from Kmart. These are Christmas ones. The Elf Christmas Cookie Oil. Oh my 
god it smells so good so even though christmas is well and truly over i'm going to put it on anyway it says two to three drops but you know i want my house smelling good so i'll do approximately 15 to 20. all right let's tackle the bedroom similar to the lounge room this is pretty easy to clean the main things i want to do put away these clothes and the things on the ground change the bed sheets tidy and wipe down our bedside tables and wipe this down as well I've taken the sheets off and I've put the new fitted sheet I think that's what it's called fitted sheet on the bed now I'm going to call in Kel to help me with the doona because I don't know what it is but I struggle so much to get the doona cover on the doona I always end up inside of it or a corner is empty I don't know why this happens to me I've been shown the right way or ways to do it but no matter what I mess it up and I'm at the point now where I'm like I don't care to learn I don't care to learn I'm gonna delegate practice my delegation skills I'm setting a boundary with this bed and the boundary is that I will not change the doona. Sorry about it. So I'm calling in Kel to help. I cleaned out and organized these shelves in my massive decluttering and organizing video and they're already back to how they looked before. I don't know what it is. Well, actually, I do know what it is. It's a lack of discipline on my behalf, but this needs to be cleaned up. It's not that bad, but it could be better. Alright, it is time to tidy and clean the office. I feel like this is the room I always dread because I spend so much time in here that it gets dirty and I'm not the best at always putting my stuff away. So it's always cluttered as well. Also, does everyone have one of these? This is my chair where I put all of my clothes when I can't be bothered putting them away. AKA every single day this chair gets filled. Please let me know if you also have a chair like this. But you know what? Let's just get straight into tidying and cleaning this room. No procrastinating because Lord knows I will procrastinate if I let my Okay, now that the apartment is all clean, it is time to go and pick up our groceries. I am a massive fan of Click and Collect. I would love to be the girl who goes to the farmer's market and picks out her produce, but I'm just not that girl. I'm just not, at least not right now. What I do is I plan our meals out for the week in my notes app. I wanna do this on Notion. I just haven't set up that page yet. And then from the weekly meal plan, I make the shopping list. And then from the shopping list, I go on the Woolworths website, add everything to my cart and check out. I'm sorry, but this is so convenient. Let me know if any of you guys do this as well. So last night, Cal and I did our weekly meal plan and placed our order. So now it is time to go and pick up the groceries. The only con right now is that it is pouring rain and we walk to the supermarket. So we'll see how we go. We love summer in Melbourne. Okay, 
okay we got the goods guys guess what happened they gave us some of these paper bags we always tick the option to not have bags because we have our little grandma rolly thing and tote bags so we just put our groceries in there but they gave us two of those paper bags and as we were walking home cal was like i really hope these don't disintegrate or fall apart we get so close to our apartment we're walking down our street and then cal's like oh my god no the handle on his bag one of these little handles completely broke and he put it on the ground mind you it's raining to try and fix it and put it inside of one of the tote bags and then i'm like the bottom is broken as well so it had ripped down here <laughs> i was like we got so close to home anyway let's go ahead and put these groceries away i'm not going to show you guys everything that we got let me know if you would be interested in seeing a how i meal plan slash meal prep video where i could show you how i meal prep and plan and like the groceries i get and all that stuff but for now let's put all the groceries away we obviously have more than just this bag I just made myself a decaf because it is quarter past five and I'm not gonna lie it could be 10 p.m. right now I am so tired so I'm hoping I can rely on the placebo effect of this to get through my I guess I could call it electronic reset there's a couple of things that I want to do on my computer so I want to first clean my computer I want to tidy up my desktop make sure my trash is empty all of that kind of stuff I want to update my tax document set my weekly goals and then plan my week in notion and my calendar so we got a couple of things to do. I think I'm going to start by doing my tax document. Then I'll clean my computer, set the goals, and plan my week. I'm excited for this. But you know when you really want to do something, but you're also like, I could just, you know, go to sleep. That's how I feel right now. But we got this. We're killing it. I understand now why the girlies do this every single week. Because I feel amazing. Exhausted, but amazing. Okay, besties, we have officially finished our Sunday reset. I feel amazing right now. I feel like I'm so set up for the week ahead. So I highly recommend doing this. Over the last year or so, I always worked on Sundays at my part-time job. So I'm so grateful that I got to take this day today to reset. I feel so good. But if you work on Sundays or if you have plans, remember that you don't need to do a Sunday reset on a Sunday. You can realistically do any of this stuff any day, but I highly recommend doing this. I just feel like I have my together and this is definitely the energy I want to continue for 2024 so let me know if you want to see more Sunday resets also if you've watched this far and you haven't subscribed you should definitely subscribe because we're basically best friends at this point I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video bye